We will continue reminding you, Matiangi, Kenya, Tutu, Kipichu, Murate, we will continue reminding you every minute, every moment, that this country belongs to all of us. And that you may scare, you may hope to use intimidation, you may hope to use humiliation, you may hope to use blackmail, but we will tell you that we will stand out in the face of all the plans and evil schemes that you are planning. We will continue to stand out. So that is our item number one. Number two, we want to hatch the Deputy President, William Ruto, wherever he is, to be strong. Be strong. What happened to you yesterday did not happen to you as a person. And they don't realize, you know the problem with the schemers here, don't realize that this country is at the verge of a revolution, which they don't understand. That is why when you see Tuchu making fun of a fundamental discussion as bottom-up approach, it, it, I mean, it's because he doesn't understand. How do you really expect Tuchu to understand who, who enjoys our money, millions and millions of money that we are uh, giving out as elected members of Jubilee. He sits down, writes letters, walks up in the morning, he has billions and billions of money. How does he understand how Amamamboka goes through today? I wish Tuju was in, was in, um, was in uh, Kiaba, where I was. A revolution is happening in this country and we want to tell the deputy president it is really not about you it is about millions and millions of kenyans that you have inspired and people like tuchu who are living on their sunset years politically may not understand and we are told by the way in all revolutions that happened whether it is the french revolution whether it is the american revolution whether it is the independence in this country the the, the, the powers that be those days, you know, didn't see it coming. They didn't see the revolution coming. Even the Roman Empire revolution, even when Jesus Christ himself was in this wall and telling them that he is the son of God, the emperor, that the powers that be that time, even they wrote when Moses was telling him that God had sent him, they didn't see it. You know, when Parao was told that God has spoken, they made fun of, this, uh, of the message of God that time. So this country is under a verge of a revolution. And by the way, it's not about tribal. It's not about because William Ruto is uh, Kalenchin or uh, Ndindi Nyoro is this. No, there's a unifying revolution, hustler revolution in this country. And I want to tell Kipichu and Matiangi, you better watch. Take time and watch from the comfort of your sons. Finally, is to the people of this country. We want to plead with Aslas all over this nation. Be calm. Be peaceful. We are suspecting an attempt to foment crisis. An attempt to foment mass protestations. An attempt to foment a, a, a civil strife or an uprising. I want to hurt Aslas wherever they are. As William Ruto put it yesterday, to Namuachia Mungu, we want to ask you to be calm. Let's not fall into the trap of the evil schemers.